Welcome to another edition of Beyond the Altar, the podcast from Vinci Lutheran Church. The first time actually at the altar today with a panel. That's why it worked out to be in here as we uh, chat with some kids who have been on mission trips. Let's uh, introduce yourselves, panel, from my left on down. I'm Pastor Dane. I think you're familiar with me. I, uh, I'm i from here, and I'd be in like the 26th grade if you did the counting today. Oh. And you? I am Gavin DeBoer. I will be going into my first year of high school this year, and I had a lot of fun on our Nebraska mission trip. I'm Ellie Logger, and I'm going into seventh, and I had fun too. I'm Pastor Justin. You know me. I'm going into 22nd grade. I got... I didn't pass all the grades like I was supposed to, like Pastor Dane did, so I got held back a little bit. Well, why did you two decide to uh, join this mission trip, which was to Nebraska, by the way? Mm -hmm. I have done, this would be my third mission trip. I did one last summer and the summer before that, and I've always had a ton of fun, and it's really fun to go help people, and yeah, I just didn't want to miss it. And Ellie? Um, Because I thought it sounded fun, and then my brother went last year, and... He thought it was really cool. I just have a question. When you guys signed up to go to Nebraska, were you assuming that I'd be there and that's why you thought it would be fun? And you were disappointed to find out it was Pastor Dane? Is that kind of what went through your mind? They were pretty grateful it was me, I think. Uh, How much has he paid you for this? Nothing. Nothing. (laughs) There's a reason I'm sitting over here, Jeff. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers for. This is going to be good. Before we get into the details of the Nebraska trip, uh, Justin, you did a trip with uh, some high school kids, and what was that? Yeah, uh, high school kids and I, we went up to Duluth this summer doing some similar work and some different work. Obviously, when you change communities, there's some different flavors, and uh, Pastor Dane paid all of them not to come today. Uh, <laughs> High school kids get busy, apparently, or maybe they're just all <laughs> sleeping in this morning. What did you do uh, in Duluth? Yeah, up in Duluth, we worked with a lot of the kind of existing, you know, social service organizations that are up there. We worked with CHUM, which is a wonderful organization. Uh, We were right before Rhubarb Fest, which if you don't know about Rhubarb Fest, check it out. And so, like, we helped make a whole bunch of, like, pies and and rhubarb. You know, we were cutting rhubarb, getting stuff set for that, which is a big fundraiser for CHUM. We also did some gardening. We helped uh, with some LSS projects. We built some uh, hygiene kits for people experiencing homelessness. Yeah. And then in the evenings, we'd have a good time getting to kind of experience like local Duluth things. We got to go to a baseball game when we were up there and um, got to kind of check out the harbor and and see some of those things that are kind of unique to Duluth. Pastor Dane, did you get to make pies on your trip to Nebraska? I did not. What? Unlike Justin, we had to make all of our own meals, and we this was a pilot program to Omaha, so... It was a pie-less program, yes, apparently. Yes, exactly. So, mm-hmm. so the kids did a great job kind of making it happen with lots of extra things going on. So. Mm-hmm. Where in Nebraska were you? So we were in Omaha, North oh. Omaha, one of the most diverse places in Nebraska, and that was a really <laughs> cool, unique experience. Gavin, before you went, what did you anticipate was going to be happening? You really just have no idea. We went to Duluth last summer, and I was expecting something completely different from the camp we stayed at, but it was still so much fun because you never know what's going to happen. So you get there, and uh, where did you stay? We stayed in a church. In a basement? (laughs) Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah? You had to sleep on the floor? No. Oh, good. Well, variations of air mattresses and whatever you slept on. Pads, sleeping pads. Like, when I was a boy, yeah. we slept <laughs> we on the floor. We don't need no air mattress. <laughs> this uh, is like the second time in a row where old man skill bread comes <laughs> up, right? <laughs> Tell us about uh, some of the things that you did that you found to be especially memorable or, uh, or meaningful to you, Gavin. Um, well, we did a lot of food banks and food pantries while we were there. And one of them, they put together like a bit of a store and we got to take people around the store with carts and help them load up their, their carts with whatever they wanted or needed. And it was super fun to be able to interact and get to meet a bunch of different people that were in need. And they, you really don't know what you're expecting with people that don't have enough, but they're just like everyday people. You wouldn't expect them to not have 
what you have. Ellie, how about you? Something especially meaningful or memorable? I thought it was really cool, like going to like the different food like banks and pantries, and one of my favorites was like the, the meeting new people. Did you go to a different one every day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What were some of the reactions of people you worked with uh, to you and to your help? For the people that ran some of the food pantries, they were, I feel like some of them were surprised at how many of us there were. Like they don't get that many volunteers very often, which was really cool because their face would just like light up with how much help they were getting for the day. And then the people that we helped were just like very grateful. They thanked us a lot and it felt really good. There was this one person, she was just like very grateful that we were all helping and she just seemed really happy because like she just started talking about herself and like what she likes to do and stuff. Pastor Dane, these activities all day, eight yeah. to five? Um, the way the day works is there's a team that helps set up breakfast and then you do maybe a morning devotion and then you head off to your work site and maybe switch work sites in the afternoon. So we would kind of finish up around three or four o'clock and then head to showers and then kind of do some evening activities after that. What kind of evening activities did you do that you liked? Across the road from the church, there was a park and a splash pad. Mm -hmm. And a group, a handful of people went on to the splash pad for an hour or so, and that was very fun. We went to a zoo. And I've heard the Omaha Zoo is a very good one. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to like the Malcolm X Museum, the history of Malcolm X. Oh, yeah. I didn't know anything about like Malcolm X being connected to Nebraska. Is there like, yeah. is there history there from that? He was born in Omaha. Yeah. He was, huh? Yeah. I didn't know that. They told us at the Malcolm <laughs> X Museum that uh, they, there's a group of people that really want to claim this as a big part of his history, that his parents had to move there for jobs and were horribly mistreated and were forced to leave, but kind of he was birthed into this difficult situation. So hmm. it's really neat to hear all there is about Malcolm X. So we heard about morning breakfast. What were your evening meals like? Was it pizza, pizza, pizza? <laughs> I bet you'll never get what the first day was. It was pizza. <laughs> <laughs> But then there was a handful of stuff. We had some macaroni and cheese with tater tots. We had like a barbecue pork one day. I forget what it was. Yeah. And Sloppy Joe's, I think, mm -hmm. was the other one. They cover them all. What was your favorite, Ellie? Um, probably the mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes. Nice. What did you learn from being on this trip? I think a good thing to take away from it is... It was so much fun to go and serve at these places because you know you're helping people in need. So if you like enjoy the work you're doing and you know that it's for a good cause, it doesn't even feel like work. It's just fun and you enjoy doing it. I thought it was really cool meeting new people and like how they're like everyday people. Kind of like you and your family. Yeah. Sometimes they have situations that require them to have a little help. Yeah. What did you learn from this, uh, Pastor Dane? I learned a lot about the goodness of middle school kids like these, uh, that just you give them something to do and they all seem to smile and have a good time. Gavin and I had a lot of fun with what we called Operation Pineapple, which <laughs> yes, was to... Was fun. <laughs> It sounds more exciting than it is, but we had to open up boxes with box cutters and then place the pineapple cans on the shelf and have them ready to go. And yeah. So there we spent like, what, an hour doing that together? Yeah, that so. was fun. Justin, your trip with the, uh, the little older kids in Duluth, what did you uh, learn? Yeah, either? feeling older every year I do these, I'll say that. Uh, and the sleeping on the air mattress gets harder. Uh, although I feel younger in some ways because I did learn that for the most part, uh, and in some ways, I watch uh, the same TikToks and reels as some of the high school kids do. And really? so, yeah, uh, maybe that's more something they learned about me than me about them. But uh, it is always just great to kind of, to get a chance to kind of see what you guys are up to and, and you know, and find those like connections. Uh, as pastors, we don't always get to do that, you know, just through the course of the normal year at church. And then I'll totally echo what Ellie said, that it's just, it's so cool to be reminded. I learn this every year, but like people who are 
you know, in poverty aren't really any different than any of us. You know, things happen in their lives. And as you said, Tim, like it requires a little extra help sometimes, but it becomes really easy when you're not experiencing that just to assume like, you know, oh, this is their fault or this is something they chose or, you know, to, to sit down and find out that they love their families and they want the same things in life that we do. And it's just been different for them. Do you two think you'll uh, go on the next trip next year? Definitely, yes. Kelly? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's okay if you say, yeah, no, probably not. I like sleeping in my own bed. <laughs> but you will? Yeah. Do you think really that cool. this will maybe encourage yourself to do volunteer work maybe beyond school, college, or as, as you grow your own career? Yeah, I thought it was, like, really fun helping people. Yeah, I think it's fun to just go around, go around and see what you can help out with. Is there anything you learned about Pastor Dane? You know, like, outside of doing the work, but say in the evenings or in the morning. I talked with Dane a lot on the way down to Omaha. Yeah. I got to sit in shotgun on the way down. That was oh, awesome. Yeah. So we got to hang out. And I just, he's got, he's from Alaska. Yeah. I learned a lot of different things, and he's just a great guy. Ellie, anything you picked up on Dane? It's okay. Uh, you know, like, is he cranky in the morning? No, I thought he's a really good person. <laughs> thought that. Then, thought. then what happened? <laughs> then the reaction. <laughs> no, but, like he's a really good person. Perfection. Oh. Clearly, these two have learned the most important thing that you learn when you're in Nebraska, and that is what happens in Nebraska stays uh, in Nebraska. They're not talking about Operation Pineapple. Yeah. It looked like Dane was going to his pocket to hand the $5 yeah. bill over here just to, <laughs> so he wouldn't say anything about it. Well, th that's awesome about the trips. Would you encourage uh, other kids your age to do it when, when yes. the trip comes up again? Mm -hmm. We transition just a little bit to uh, questions more about being a, a person of your age in this church or, or any church. Do you have friends who don't go to church or aren't involved in things like this? Honestly, no. No? No. That's good. You got a good circle of friends going. Junior high is, uh, I, I know it can be a, a, a tough time on image and all of that. So safe to say, if you don't know anybody that doesn't go to church, there hasn't been uh, anybody that has given you a hard time Say, oh, you're going on that church trip or... Oh, you, you got to go to church Sunday. No. It's not like it's something that's frowned upon at middle school or high school. Yeah. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. What do you like about coming here to Vinji? I love the, I love the pastors, for one. They're super fun. Get that $5 out. <laughs> out. Is it 10 10 $5? I'm out of money. So. <laughs> um, but I also just love the community and how we get to do these mission trips. Um, it's super fun every summer. And... I love that I come on Wednesdays. I don't usually come on Sundays, but every week there's just a bunch of people from middle school, high school that come here that you just don't really expect them to like be on the behavior they're on when they come here. But it's super cool to see that transformation as they come to church. Ellie, how about you? What do you like about Vinji? I like the people and like the service here. Now, these two are going to turn off their headsets. Is there, is there anything here at Vinji that you think could happen that might encourage others to come? Like, they're really cool. And then, like, if you do, like, if you come on Wednesdays, then, like, there's different activities. Mm -hmm. Anything about it that you think could be better? No. It feels um, like you're thinking, but I you don't want to say. Is it okay? No, I'm thinking <laughs> of just something that could be better. Sure. You just don't really, when you come, you, you aren't expecting anything crazy. Yeah. So they do a great job here, and I don't. Get out I, your money. I, I feel like. <laughs> Get out your. I'm going to run Now out. you're on credit. Yeah. What do I do? You're going to have to Venmo you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know it's a ways off. Do you have thoughts about what you're going to do after high school, starting to, to think of possible career paths? I've thought about going into business and finances. Mm -hmm. Nothing like too specific, but Ellie, I know. What are you gonna be when you grow up? Um, 
I haven't decided yet. That's fine. No <clears throat> pastors. I haven't thought about it, but wouldn't rule it don't, out. Don't, don't do it. it. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do, do it. it. You'll end up like us. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on air mattresses yeah. and yeah. Do you have any uh, questions for these two? That they're just being really polite, so I'm kind of blown away and don't know what to ask. If you wanted like beef against you guys, I think you picked yeah. the wrong kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's no, why we that's picked fair. you. Yeah. I mean, this was <laughs> carefully <stay> selected. <laughs> right. Did you guys miss your shower at home more or your bed at home more? Oh. Shower easily. Yeah, shower. Okay. We had to shower at the YMCA, so you know. Had to wait for different groups to go through, and you're like sitting there for an hour. So, mm -hmm. and so there are other. You're saying there's other groups like yours who are also there. Yes. At the same time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was another group from, was it Columbia, <laughs> Illinois? Yep. Near St. Louis, and we got to meet. There's like seven of them. Not very many, but they were all, all super nice. And did you make new friendships with the ones who were on your trip from Vinji that maybe somebody you hadn't known very well before? I knew everybody, but not super well. No. Courtney, for one, I did not know very well before this, but she's super nice. Courtney super is uh, our camera operator behind the scenes today. She was on the trip. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and your last chance to encourage somebody who didn't go for whatever reason to, to say, hey, you really ought to join us next year. We'll start with Ellie. It was just really fun. And if they went, I thought they would think it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, why not come? It's super fun. You get to go hang out with friends and you get to get out of the house for a week. You can't complain. <laughs> Funny, that's what their wives said. <laughs> I get to get them out, out of, of the, the house, house for the week. <laughs> We should give a shout out to Serve Boldly, uh, which is the Ministry of Green Lake Lutheran Ministries. They're the ones that coordinate these trips. And so they've got sites all over the country. You know, when I was up in Duluth, there were like five other churches there and from North Dakota, South Dakota. They got churches coming from like Texas to these different sites. And so regardless of, I mean, this is going to go viral. You guys know that, right? Oh, so like, great. as people are like watching this in a couple of weeks from now, sitting around in California, like you can take a Serve Boldly mission trip with Green Lake. So uh, I know we're excited about planning next year with them. And um, yeah. And come join Vinji, especially when we get back to school and you get back to those Wednesday evenings that you mm, guys like. Yeah, to go to, right? September yes. 11th, you guys, you're to be there. Probably. Is that the first day back? That's the first day back. Well, then yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> September 11th it is. Thank you for joining us. And, and thank you to Gavin and Ellie for sharing your stories. Thank you to the pastors mm -hmm. for going along and sacrificing their sleep and shower activity as well. We'll see you again on Beyond the Altar. Did you ever kind of wish that some other adult led you instead of your dad? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Don't tell him, though. No. I won't tell him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>